Hello everyone, my name is Rodins and thank you so much for watching my channel, a channel that talks about investing and also talks about financial independence. If you haven't subscribed, please do not forget to subscribe such that if I release another video, you will be able to be notified. Most of the people who don't invest have come to realize that they think uh, when you invest, you lose money. Uh, they could be partly right, but that is not entirely true because the fact is investing has two sides you can either lose or you can gain but the most dangerous thing or the most sure way of losing money is not by investing so i'm going to be talking about how you lose money when you don't invest there are many two ways that i have discovered that you lose money when you don't invest so those are the two main ones that i'm going to be talking about so what are those main ways of how you can lose money when you don't invest so number one is saving without investing i'm sure most of you if not all of you have accounts in banks do you know that banks charge maintenance fee or monthly fee to most of our accounts if not all accounts have you ever taken time to ask how much they will be charging you every month when you're going to open an account because even me when i was having an account i never used to take caution every month but actually i found that they were charging me money that i didn't know about so after discovering of course i had to look for the bank that does not charge a fee or that was cheap so if you're saving money without investing it and you're saving it in the bank from today go and check how much they are charging you they could be charging the amount that you don't know at the end of the day it's eating into your savings so that is number one way of losing money when you're not investing number two and the main way of most people lose money without investing is inflation so what is inflation inflation can be looked in two ways number one is the consistent increase in prices of goods and services uh, it can be in oil prices it can be consumer goods be it salt be it uh, sugar it can be also in clothing so mostly uh, we talk about east africa that i know much about inflation the most of the time inflation is always between five to seven so another way of looking at inflation is devaluation i don't know how many times in your country the currency has lost value so the more it loses value it means you're losing money so i'm going to go ahead and explain how inflation makes you lose money number one for example if the prices of goods and services increase for example you had 1000 in the bank and you're not saving it which means it's not doing anything it's idle so for example so when an item or fuel or clothes the prices increase for example if it was being bought at 1000 and you go there maybe next month or next two months you find it at 1200 or 1100 it means you can no longer be able to buy you have to add 1000 100 or 200 it means you have lost 200 or 100 by not investing i'm sure that one you understand and also uh, another way as i told you currency losing value it's all, all 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 the same so you have heard that the fuel or other items the prices have increased it's because there is oversupply because countries actually they know how 
to to print more money so when the money is saturates in the population it means it no longer has more value so when you kept your money it means it can no longer buy the goods it used to buy before that's how inflation eats into your money therefore you lose because it's it's sitting while the prices are going high so your money can no longer buy the goods they used to buy in the past so when you don't invest it you're losing now we know that you can lose money when you're not investing so how can you avoid that or how can you avoid to lose money Ob obviously it's by investing so it there are very many investment vehicles which you can use to invest money uh, even if you're fearing that you're going to lose there are ways how you can invest and you're guaranteed that you not lose money so those i'm going to talk about two ways how you can be guaranteed that when you invest you not lose money number one is money market funds or mutual funds uh, for example from east africa there are many mutual funds uh, or money market funds where you can invest money and it gives you mainly it gives between seven to nine percent depending on which um, money market or mutual fund you go to so if you you're given uh, seven to ninety percent it means you're beating inflation depending on how high your inflation is so as i told you east africa it's always between five to seven so if you get uh, an investment vehicle that can give you seven to nine or to eight percent it means you'll be beating inflation in that way you'll not be losing money second way which you can be guaranteed that you will get returns without losing money is by investing in treasury bin bonds or treasury bills so what is a bond mainly treasury bond or treasury bill is an instrument that is used by the government to actually acquire uh, money from the public at the end of the day they pay uh, interest so in simple terms is where the public gives the loan to the government that is also a sure way so mostly for, for the treasury bill the treasury bill actually mainly it's uh, uh the money that you loan to the government within a period of one year to two years that is a treasury bill so from for the treasury bond it's always a long term it is always between three years to 15 years or 20 years so that is the bond so if you give money to the government depending on how long you're going mostly the treasury bills in east africa and africa it's always between um seven to nine or ten percent depending on also the period because it can also go from six to ten months or 12 months to two years so it depends on also the period of uh what percentage you will be giving also for the treasury bonds you can it's always between 9 to 11 or to 13 depending on also on the period so when you invest in a treasury bill or treasury bond it's a sure deal you're going to get a return of between 8 to 12 percent a sure way you will not lose money because it's a government if it doesn't have money it will print more and gives you your money back so those are the two ways how you will you will be guaranteed of getting your money so and if you are risk if you like to get more uh, returns you can take a bit of risk by investing in other assets for example my preferred one is stock market stock market actually the reason why people uh lose in stock market it's because of knowledge lack of knowledge if you have enough knowledge you can win a stock market but as i told you stock market you can lose money it's not guaranteed return but its returns is very 
sure actually as i can uh, I, I can give you an example if you're following the global trends for example tesla company it has it was actually trading a few months ago for 100 70 to 100 dollars as i say now as i record the video it's about 800 80 it has multiplied four times 400 times its value that's how stock market can make you rich within few months but as i said you can also lose the most important thing is measuring your risk appetite so that you don't lose money or you don't have to sit keep your money the more you keep your money the more you lose so those were the two ways how we can lose money and so if you were thinking that you don't lose money when you're keeping your money it's high time you started discovering how you can use your money to benefit from it let me hear what you have to say about this and also you can also share your ideas uh, with us with me on how you invest your money so that you don't lose it thank you so much once again do not forget to subscribe so that whenever i release another video you will be able to be notified thank you so much once again have a good day bye bye